Hey, Liam, welcome down to South Florida. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong here, but did we get a new haircut? Uh, yeah, I shaved my head. Yep. Is, that a, is that a response to the heat, maybe? No, that's just a uh, football thing for me. I always shave it when I, when I practice. All right, I guess my question will be, uh, how's, how's it going so far? A couple of days in the field and in the classroom now, how are you adjusting to the to rookie mini camp? And what have you noticed about your teammates and the people here with you playing? It's been awesome. You know, kind of what you asked about, you know, the people here are great. You know, they care about you. They want you to excel. Um, it's about the team. You know, it's not about ind individuals. Um, practice has been going well, you know, lifting. The strength coach is great. You know, they put us in a, in a position to excel. Um, you know, I've, everything's going great down here. Armando. Hi, Liam. So obviously, rookie mini camp, this is your first taste of Miami Dolphins and uh, the playbook and so forth. Eventually, do you see yourself as a guy that is going to be competing for playing time, competing for uh, a starting position? Um, you know, right now it's about being consistent. You know, I've only had two days of practice. Um, I mean, you know, I, I just want to improve. It's, it's not about starting right now. It's about improving every single day from being on the field and then also in the, in the meeting rooms, understanding the offense. Um, you know, there's a lot going on with offense. So, you know, first off, I need to get that down. Right, but eventually I'm talking about. I mean, eventually, but right now it's about just improving. Joe? Hey, Liam, it's Joe in Palm Beach. Good to see you. Um, Mike McGlinchey is a guy I've met a couple of times, met him at Notre Dame, combine playoffs, actually. He was down, I think, for the Super Bowl down here, right? Yeah, I think that's right. Yeah, he was in the Super Bowl. And um, I I'm wondering, are you guys uh, tight? Uh, and has he, have you been able to talk to him a little bit about the transition from the pros, you know, college to the pros? Yeah, you know, I talked to a bunch of my former teammates from Mike McGlinchey, Quentin Nelson, and then, you know, the guys who are undrafted free agents like Sam Musk for Alex Barr. So, you know, I keep in contact with those guys a lot. Um, you know, I could call them at any time and they'd answer unless they're at practice or in meetings. But, uh, you know, they're great guys. Stay in contact. You know, McGlinchey is a guy who played left tackle and right tackle at Notre Dame and now has become a strong player at right tackle in the NFL. What are your observations about Mike and being able to handle both, you know, both sides? He, he could play guard, he could play left tackle, right tackle. What are your observations about how he's been able to prepare himself to do that? Yeah, I would say it's about being available, you know, being able to play wherever the team needs you. Um, at the end of the day, you know, you, you want to put your five best offensive linemen out there and, you know, you want to win. Um, so, you know, Mike was a guy who was able to slide into guard, who was able to play left tackle, right tackle, um, just having that versatility. So on top of that, it's also about being consistent. And, you know, Mike was also a great leader who, you know, set a good example for myself and other guys. Thanks. Uh, yeah, we weren't able to watch practice this week, so I'm kind of going in here blind. Did you, did you guys do one-on-ones against uh, defensive linemen, or was, was that not part of the work this week? Um, it was just focused on uh, fundamentals and improving. So, you know, we did a lot of individual drills. I had the opportunity to work with Coach, uh, Coach Lem, um, understand the Miami Dolphins technique and fundamentals. Um, but, you know, practice went well. It was good. It was nice being down in Florida for the first time practicing. You know, I'm, I'm from up north, and uh, it was awesome. So the, the, the reason I asked is we got to speak with Jalen Phillips earlier uh, today. I'm curious, when you get to go one-on-one -on -one against him, I mean, that seems to be like a matchup we'd certainly all love to watch. I mean, yeah, it, it just goes back to fundamentals and technique. You know, I mean, every rep is important, not just one-on-ones. Salvin? Hey, Liam, you mentioned something that coaches always preach. You know, you want the best five linemen out there. Um, you know, for you, how would you feel if, if it wasn't maybe your your best position or most favorite, but you were out there? How, how would you feel about, you know, circumstance like that? I mean, any, any position to help help this team win, you know, help this offensive line excel and succeed. So um, it doesn't matter if I'm playing guard, tackle, or center. You know, I mean, I'll, I'll figure it out. You know, I'll get to the point where I feel comfortable and I'm able to help this team win. Omar? So tell me more about this head shaving. I, I, do you do it on a regular basis? Uh, straight razor? Do you have some buzz cuts? What? And why before football practices? Yeah, it's just kind of uh, like to reset, reset, you know, it's kind of 
blank slate. Um, I don't know. I'm also balding, as you guys can tell. Um, I, so, I, 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 you know, last year and, you know, the year before, I always would shave my head and grow my beard out. So just kind of something I do for football, you know, puts me in the mindset. Okay. So, so are we working on the beard or did that get a shave uh, too? I'm, uh, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. You know, I was, I was clean shaven for all these meetings for the, uh, the past couple months. Okay. So you felt like you had to clean up your image for these NFL teams. Yeah, definitely. Yep. And now we're going to get to like rough, rough offensive line. Look. Definitely. Yep. Travis. <laughs> that was great. Hey, Liam, uh, you mentioned working out with coach Lem, you know, back in the in the run up to the draft and now you get a chance to work with him here on the field i'm curious what's the difference in the way that coaching goes between you know the run up to the draft and now that you're here with the logo and the aqua and orange what's that difference with coach like i mean it's he's he's a very consistent coach so i mean everything he preached at pro day he preaches now it's not like he showed up at pro day and did something different um you know it's about getting your hands inside you know setting to your position being in a good position and you know kind of using his technique to, you know, win every single rep.